out of here, kid. Get up. Fifty on the Italian army in the Cyprus Greek conflict. The chairman is ready for your conference, Mr. Trenton. You have three minutes, beginning now. Good morning, Mr. Trenton. Good morning, sir. I was hoping we could have a a face to face. <laughs> yes, well, I'm a busy man. You have some thoughts regarding gambling-related crime, Mr. Trenton. Your selection, please. Violence is rising due to the Braga Molotov War for control on illegal gambling in old Detroit, sir. Gambling which significantly affects the sale of OCP lotto tickets. Now, as vice president in charge of the criminal think tank, I have come up with what I am confident is the only viable solution. I want to reprogram RoboCop. Get rid of all his directives and overrides, all of that namby-pamby stuff. I want to make him as ruthless as the criminals. Now, I ran some numbers. Mr. Trenton, with ideas like that, the only numbers that should concern you are your remaining days with OCP. Robocop is first and foremost a police officer. He will not break the law to uphold the law. Drop your weapons and surrender, or there will be trouble. Dust him! represents the most positive aspects of this corporation. Freeze! You're under arrest. Wager data transmitted. All bets cleared from memory. I just dumped the evidence. You got nothing on me, robot. Don't bet on it. I expect better. And I expect it by the end of the week. Buchanan Max, Warden Del Vecchio, Private Line. What is it, J. Michael? Activate Tin Man. You're joking. What about... Glitches. What about? I'll take that chance. Activate him now. Tin Man, activation. Shock the flat line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody, clear. Officer Alex Murphy shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you.
Give us three minutes and we'll give you the world. This is Media Break with Bo Harlan and Rocky Crenshaw. Rioting broke out at the National Scholastic Decathlon in Las Vegas today when spectators accused this young man, Elliot Pukey Feldman, of throwing the match by failing to recognize the molecular structure of silicon and causing the odds on favorite Mumford High to lose. It was a frame up. The opposing team brought donuts. I was hyped on sugar. I'm not supposed to have sweets. Ask my mom. It's too bad. I had five bucks on that one. <laughs> Speaking of bucks, Treasury Department officials declared the $1 Ronald Reagan coin, affectionately known as the Ronnie, a success, saying that in its second year of minting, the coin has completely replaced the traditional paper greenback. More after this. Hi, my name is Milt Seaver, and I won 10 million bucks playing Commander Cash Scratchers. And you know what? It's true what they say. Money talks. Commander Cash Scratchers. It's more than a game, it's easy money. Odds of winning are 14,500,000 to 1. Come on, it wasn't Steve Hilly. I need you to sign off on these. Did that this morning, Sarge. Those were this morning's memos. This is the afternoon batch. You're kidding me. Yeah. Oh, well, I should have known. From the desk of Mr. J. Michael Trenton, Executive Vice President, Criminal Think Tank. Robocop, where are you off to? I have a lead on one of Reggie Braga's Pitman games. Not till you give me those arrest reports on the junk food. Shoot them up, you crash this morning. Here's a memo about you. Arrest record down 2% in the last quarter. Please adjust circuits accordingly. Circuits? Give that memo to Lippincott. Hey, look. Just do what I do. Don't read them. Just initial. just like the machines on the ice cream trucks. All done. Want to give it a test? Scratch off six commander caches and win 10 million big ones. Just cost a Ronnie to play. Wow, 10 million big ones. You know, Sarge won't let me buy anything from those trucks. He says they're filled with junk fruit and vice. Hey, hey, I didn't authorize that thing. Sorry, General. OCP's putting them in every precinct. Besides, you initialed the memo. Gadge, on days like this, I wish I could buy a boat and you and me could sail away. Gambling in the police station, can you believe it? Next thing you know, we'll be getting liquor, dancing. Ten million big ones could buy a Sarge a really big boat. With the pool table, kitchen. <laughs> Gee, I lost. It's a pleasure doing business with enterprising young Americans who know when to play dumb. Hey, where's the rest? Hey. Wow, donuts! Thanks, Reggie. <laughs>
good boy, Pukey. My name's Elliot. Stitch. Don't call me Stitch. Yes, sir. Let's go. Well, if it isn't Reggie Braga. My little friend. Uh, perhaps we can make a deal. Yeah, sure. On your knees. Now. Okay. <laughs> I can be a reasonable man. I won't hit your trucks no more. Okay? We can forget about all this. Yeah, we're gonna forget about it, all right. Out of sight, out of mind. Hey, boss, who's that? Voice rule number one, there is nothing, nothing better than being a cop. Malloy? Hello, I am a talking bomb. I'm set to explode in 15 seconds. Have a nice day. 14 seconds, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Can I help you? Can you help me? Perfect, what's going on with you? You all right? Yes. Thank you for your concern. Robocop! Oh, thank goodness. Hey, we lost track of you after that warehouse explosion. What happened out there? I will file a report. Excuse me. Guess I'll read the report. Sergeant, can you spare Ronnie for some coffee? I seem to have misplaced all my change. Oh, yeah. Wait, just make sure. 
I'm outside the courtroom where the Malloy trial took a dramatic turn today. The jury heard damning testimony from Detroit police officer Timothy Malloy's rookie partner, Officer Alex Murphy, that he attempted to stop Malloy from striking the suspect, Robert Prince, with several brutal blows. Oh, oh, here's Officer Murphy now. You Hey, thanks, partner. Thanks a lot. How do you feel now, huh? It was your testimony that's gonna put me away. Do you know what they do to cops in prison? He was a dirtbag, Murph! He was a dirtbag! Officer Murphy, how do you feel knowing it was your, your own testimony that put your partner in prison? All I did was tell the truth. He doesn't deserve this. He's only going to prison because you people turned this trial into a witch hunt. I should have lied. Molloy's rule number two. Good cop always plays by the rules. Even when it hurts. nation's most vicious crime gangs and he's as cool as a vegetable uh, no offense oh wait till the old man gets a load of this guy's handiwork <laughs> he is gonna love it we are talking bonus time and maybe even a promotion sensors registered a glitch a glitch what kind of a glitch he hesitated again who cares he pulled it off. You know, the CIA wasn't too pleased when it happened during the real sanction. Larry, Larry, Larry. You worry too much. You gotta take some chances in this life, you know? Put your butt on the line. You wanna get ahead. Sometimes I wonder if he can even comprehend what's happened to him. Larry, you really need to change his scenery. You hang around this zombie long enough, you'll give anybody the creeps, huh? <laughs> Come on, I'll buy you dinner, huh? And we'll bring you back a doggy bag. <laughs> Sure do. There you go. Thanks. You know what? What's that? That new motorcycle you're always talking about, you're gonna get it real soon. Is that so? Yep. You just wait. Sarge, got a sec? That's about all I got. Huh. Hi. Why would Murphy be so interested in this Malloy guy? It was his testimony that convicted him. He was a good cop, but he had one bad day. Thought he could clean up this town all by himself. Pressure caught up. He took it out on a suspect, put him in the hospital. Well, he sure threw the book at him. The media and the politicians made sure that they were like sharks at a feeding frenzy. Look at his prison record. It's spotless. Up for parole three times, turned down every time. What? Wait, it can't be. I should have been called as a character witness. Damn. Look who was warden now. If it isn't our old pen pal, J. Michael Trenton. You say Murphy was checking up on Malloy last night? Yep. Do me a favor. Keep an eye on Murphy. Oh, sorry I took so long. There was a nasty pileup on the information highway. What's up, Alex? I need a citywide scan on a tag I made last night. The vigilante? You tagged him? Yes. All right, something interesting for a change. I'm on my way. Diana. 
Can you access Buchanan and Mac's parole records? Sorry, Alex. They're not part of my system. Why? Just curious. What exactly are you driving at, Mr. Trent? It's all in my latest statistics, sir. Gambling and related criminal activity are down by more than 40% since the vigilante hit Braga's arena. And you're suggesting... I am strongly suggesting, sir, that we look the other way and let the vigilante do what he's been doing. He has no affiliation with OCP. His actions don't reflect on us. And uh, look at the results he gets. So you think the vigilante is positive. Is that correct, Mr. Trenton? The figures don't lie, Mr. Chairman. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Um, give me today's what's on your mind. 55 to 60. Umberto, there is a man out there who's trying to kill us. We are not criminals. We are businessmen. I sell healthy sandwiches to hungry working men in old Detroit. And delicious puff of the clown ice cream to the little children. The police out there are doing nothing to protect us. They don't care about the children. They don't care about the hungry working men. It's because we are foreigners. They want us all to go back to where we came from. They allow this madman to stalk us. So if you can, Reggie Braga, Vlad Molotov, share with our viewers and myself, Humberto Ortega, what you have decided to do about this injustice. We're merging our companies. Strength through unity. Your vigilante has just created the largest crime cartel in Detroit's history. You like figures, Mr. Trenton? Well, we estimate the resulting rise in illegal gambling is going to cost the OCP lotto almost two billion in revenue. What have you to say to that? Buchanan Max, Warden Del Vecchio, private line. Jay Michael? Tell Tim Mann he's taking a meeting with Buffalo the Clown tonight, and nobody walks away from this one. I picked up a weak signal from your tag. He just passed a satellite dish on a roof at 1040 Whitaker. Thank you, Diana. Buffer the Clown represents the finest in illegal gambling. The people trust Buffer the Clown. I don't want you messing with that image. Oh, I, I wouldn't think of it. You got my word on it. Stitch. I told you, nobody calls me Stitch. Nobody. Do you hear that? Nobody calls me Stitch, especially not you. I want him dead. Kill him. Guns, guns, guns. There you go being stupid again. The first rule of good business is don't kill your partner. I apologize for being too fascinated by that big, ugly scar on your face. Surrender, Malloy. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to 
happened to you. What am I going to do? There's going to be an investigation. What if Malloy glitches? They'll find out everything. We have broken a ton of laws, Larry. It is going to get real nasty from here on in. They could put us both away for attempted murder at the very least. And worse than that, the old man is getting rid of me. It's all over the offices. I'm out of the loop, Larry. I can't protect you anymore. You are on your own, baby. Do what you have to. I'll take care of Malloy. Malloy. Do you remember Alex Murphy? Murphy was killed. Yes. Check this out. Whoa. Yeah. Pretty high tech. Yeah, it's on par with Robocop system. And look at this. some sort of unstable molecular weave. It soaks up impact like a sponge. This thing could take a bazooka around and still keep a crease. <laughs> uh, you're looking at the cutting edge of Security Concepts Experimental Weapons Division. There's no way in the world that Malloy escaped prison with this kind of firepower without somebody's help. I'm gonna find that somebody. Wait here a minute. Robo, it's time. How is he? He is not himself. Prison can do that to a man. Not like this. There is something else. Look, Murphy, he was a good cop. But he made a mistake and he paid for it. He paid too much. Ah, Warden DeVecchio. Detective Madigan, Metro South? Hi. <laughs> uh, could, could you come back in a couple of hours? Uh, tomorrow, maybe? Oh, tomorrow's not good for me. I'm on the Malloy case. I was hoping you could answer a few questions. What kind of questions? Well, big ones. Like, how did he escape a maximum security prison without it being reported? Gadge? <laughs> those yours so this is where all my change but gadget I'm not missing this much I I borrowed some when I win I'm gonna pay everyone back the grand prize is 10 million big ones I was gonna buy you your boat and they said motorcycle and something for Robocop I don't know what but something Please don't be mad at me, okay? Hey, hey. I'm not mad. Gad, you fell for the oldest hook in the book. 
There's no easy money in real life. All these people here, they work real hard for their money. You don't see them looking for the quick payoff, now do you? What you did is no different than the kids that get sucked in the street gambling. And you know that's wrong, don't you? Sure, but this is different. It's legal. Yeah, it's legal. But you stole to play it, and that's not legal. Now, you know what I want you to do? I want you to go tell everyone that you borrowed money from that you are sorry and that you're going to pay them back. Okay? Okay. You do it. I love you, Serge. I love you, too. Go do what I told you. Hey, kids! How do you do, General? Just here to empty the money machine. Could I, uh, that borrow this hammer? Help yourself, buddy. Excuse me. Are you crazy? You keep your damn slot machines out of my precinct, or you're gonna need a proctologist to find the next one. Malloy was part of a weapons testing program? Uh, of course. Uh, many of our inmates volunteer. Uh, the testing program is the main source of Buchanan's funds. Uh, my predecessor's idea. J. Michael Trenton. That's right. Why didn't you report Malloy's escape? I thought we could handle it internally. Avoid embarrassment. My mistake. Tell me, why did you put a man with a record of mental instability in a weapons testing program? Uh, uh, we took a chance. You took a chance? He was a cop. He had certain training we needed. Training? I've seen your guinea pig ward. The man is a zombie. He couldn't have done this on his own. He sits and waits for orders like a robot. Now, what the hell did you do to him? I'm not cleared to give you that information. Well, then you tell me who can. Otherwise, I'm going to make damn sure that you take full credit for this little project. We're going to have a lock on all the gambling in old Detroit. This is going to make the OCP lottery look like a, a church bingo, which, by the way, is something we ought to look into. I always thought the real money was in religion. I'll put it on the board's agenda. What do you want? Who's going to visit us? The vigilante escaped, and he knows where you are. Oh, I'd say you had about ooh, 15 minutes before he gets there. Who's this? Me. I'm just a friend. There's a detective after me. You gotta help me out. Sorry, Lair. No can do. Got my uh, pink disc. I'm walking and none too soon. This detective linked me to Malloy. If she gets me, she'll get you too. You wanna bet? I may have been the warden, but you were the psychiatrist with the big ideas. Emotional amputation, you said. Turn a man into a flesh and blood robot. Ooh, CIA loved it. Their funding put Buchanan Max in the black. Got me this nifty office. But hey, where's the paper trail? My authorizations were verbal. And you can bet that the CIA is as clean as I am on this. No. The only thing linking me to Malloy is Malloy. And I took care of that loose end when I uh, broke him out of the prison bus. And thanks to Braga and Molotov, Tin Man is about to be toast. So, hasta la vista, Larry. A wire. A wire! That's right, a wire. So, where's Malloy? All units, all frequencies, be on the lookout for suspect Timothy Malloy. 
Suspect was broken out of a prison bus by an unknown accomplice while en route to Buchanan Maximum Security Penitentiary. Approach with extreme caution. Malloy is considered armed and dangerous. And Malloy's rule number three. You always look out for your partner. Always. Sorry, Alex. I scanned the whole city. There's no sign of Malloy. Somebody must have deactivated the tag you put on them. He needs my help. I will find him. Murphy, Trent just spilled his guts. He sent Malloy to Molotov's warehouse on Lakeshore. It's a setup. I'm on my way. is Malloy's rule number one. What is Malloy's rule number one? Dad. Nothing. Better than being a cop. Cop. Thank you, partner. Murphy, Murphy. What, what did they do to us, Murph?
Murphy, you all right? Where's Malloy? There. Dispatch, send a search boat. Malloy's rule number three. Always look out for your partner. Life.